Effective communications, clarity. Is everything you do clear? Is it clear to your customer, to your stakeholders? Can people reasonably articulate what your brand is, what your message is, what you do? If a friend's talking about your company, can they clearly state what you do and not say, yeah, I think they, it's like a t-shirt, banner, printer, guy, or something. Or, I mean, I think they can do like Nike shirts or something. Is it clear? Is your communications consistent? Are they consistent if you're online or offline? Uh, is it consistent on your website? Is it consistent in your literature? Is it consistent with your executive team? Is it consistent if you're a one-person company? Is it consistent if um, in an email? Are you saying the same things to, to perpetuate consistency of your brand? Content, 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 content. I'm not gonna go over that again. Can't stress that enough, it's one of the five C's. Connection, we all want connection. And even the people who say, oh, they don't, they don't really like people, people, they don't like people. Well, maybe there are a few uniforms out there. But uh, most of us do genuinely enjoy getting together. Now, you may say, well, it's getting harder, Ryan, with the younger generation to get meeting. Yeah, it probably is. But guess what? If you can get the meeting, you're in a 10% people that you're competing with, because most people gave up and never got the meeting. So I can tell you of going out in the field, riding with clients, even some of the stuff I still do, when you get out and get in front of them, if you get that meeting, they really enjoy that connection. They don't maybe not know they enjoy it, but they enjoy it. Because everybody's drowned, buried, and slammed. Whew, take a deep breath, but you gotta add value there. If you just come in and you're wasting their time, flipping through catalogs and just taking, nobody wants time for that. Nobody wants time for that. They want answers. Creativity, how can you get your approach? I mean, if you're, Ryan, this is Bob Johnson, Eastern Regional Division. I need to tell Bob Johnson that's not real creative. I'd rather him get stuck in a court up here. Um, at the very least, you see, I didn't fret when I was stuck in the court because I was like, you know, people like to laugh. You know, I mean, I, I laugh at myself. Like, you know what, just be who you are. Just, but be creative, be memorable. Every industry's changing. I mean, these guys are trying to figure it out. They've changed 15 times their business model. But here was a store by my house. They closed the store. They moved to 10 miles down the road. They closed that store because they're competing with themselves with these Best Buy Express models. They still don't have to figure it out. But what they figured out is, you know what? People can just get our high selling items and swipe on a credit card and do it pretty quick. We don't have to have the land. We don't have to have this. We don't have to have that. So every industry is changing. Every company in industry is changing. I mean, Remember these guys? Our friends bought Buster Video. I remember about six years ago driving by uh, the store and I told my wife, I said, that is a dying business model. Now, I like Buster Video and I like bookstores. I come from a printing background. I like it simply because I could go in and decide what I wanted to use because there weren't so many options. Because in today's world, it's like, let me go to, you know, a Norwood or a Broder website and I'll show you every pen or every t shirt that you can order. Options are endless. Uh, or here's a catalog. Oh, is that, oh, that's, oh that's our only choices. So, so you've got to got to be strategic. You give them too much, it's too complicated. You give them too little, we we like more options. But here was the idea of Blockbuster. Blockbuster did not grow with the times. And Redbox pops up, and I don't have a slot of Netflix on here. Netflix as well. It said, you know what? We got an easier business model. We'll send you one in the mail. That was Netflix. Redbox. We'll make it for a buck outside the convenience store. And there's probably two in stock of each one. There's probably 20 movies in here. You walk out and go, yeah, it's cold today. Hey, listen, you know, I forgot that was out. Stick your credit card in, take it, take it home, bring it back. Isn't that kind of way? We bought the shorts 20 something years ago. Yep. Easy, simple, fast. So they, they found a business model around this. Netflix sets up this company and they start trying to get away from their CD shipping business and start streaming movies and set up, if you remember, about a year and a half ago, a name to just do streaming because they could make more money doing it. They had a huge backlash. They reversed their whole course and say, well, keep doing the CDs because they didn't know what they're doing. They're trying to reinvent themselves. So the idea there is if these big guys are changing and like this, it affects all of us. It's not just, well, in the apparel and the promotional products industry or in the graphics industry, we've been hit the hardest. I mean, look at bookstores around you. I mean, you don't think uh, the Barnes and Nobles or Borders or whoever's open these days are trying to figure out what in the world to do to survive beyond their online store? 